keeping all these factors in view, MCA 21 was conceived as a holistic end-to-end -end service delivery project. We started on 1st March 2005. We rolled out in a pilot location on February 18th, 2006 in Coimbatore. India's largest e-governance initiative was formally launched at ROC Coimbatore. And we incorporated a first company under the online process through MCA 21 within one hour. So we were probably the, one of the first departments which completed the MCA 21 bang on time with the Prime Minister inaugurating it. Dr. Manmohan Singh, Honorable Prime Minister of India, along with Mr. Prem Chand Gupta, Honorable Minister, inaugurated the e-governance initiative under the National e-governance plan on the 18th of March 2006. The key features of MCA 21, anywhere, anytime e-filing, re-engineered forms adopted for e-filing, multiple payment options including electronic payments, digital signatures for authentication of documents, unique identification for companies and directors, migration of past paper records into the proposed electronic storage, electronic workflow driven paperless back office in MCA. Carry out a project of this uh, scale and size and bring in a certain degree of uh, professionalism and uh, reliability in the services. It was also necessary to put out very clearly what were the technical requirements, what were the uh, architectural details had to be specified so that there could be a fair and transparent selection process as well. The goals set were ensuring speed and certainty in service fulfillment, ease in conducting business, online availability of MCA on a 24-7, 365 day basis, enabled to offer efficient services to corporate, easy registration and verification of charges, effective compliance management and transparency, efficiency, accountability and effectiveness in service delivery. Now it is possible for anybody in the any corner of the country to file his application through internet. All the payments which are to be made for payment of various fee for filing these forms are accepted in an electronic mode either through the credit card or through e-banking and for those who don't have the credit card an electronic chalan payment method has also been given and you can do the filings 24 by 7 from any location within the country or even outside the country because of mca 21 what used to earlier take several days can now be reduced to a few minutes we can allot names to companies to the new companies and we can incorporate them uh, within a day. So registration of company, uh, filing of returns or any follow-up action and viewing the status or viewing the documents has become very easy and it is on the click of a button. When it was introduced several years ago, there was a big resentment amongst the professionals that how they will work and how it will be managed. But today we all think that how we were living without it. Everything has become so convenient sitting in our office in India or our clients sitting anywhere in the world can access the information regarding their companies or other companies as well, just on the click of a button. The special features of MCA 21 were robust, open, scalable and interoperable standards, international standards of security, MCA gateway for access, security and governance, the staff feels fearless now because we know that whatever documents we have approved, whatever documents we have signed cannot be tampered with. We don't have anything to be done manually. Everything is stored in our uh, portals. So we are feeling quite comfortable. And the working environment has also been changed. Previously we were working in sort of old type of dinghy offices. Now we have clean offices. We have good look offices.
we are working on computers. So this all together changes the mindset of the employees. With MCA coming in, there has been a sea change in the way companies are administered. There is a complete, complete entry of transparency. This is www.mca.gov.in. Now there is a link download e-form. From where we can download e-forms. The list of e various e-forms are provided. But people, analysts and stakeholders can actually see what is happening. They can draw their own conclusions. And when, when the country gets uh, rated by international financial institutions, it is based on facts and not on perceptions as it was done in the past. Today, if you want to get companies to promote themselves, if you want to encourage entrepreneurs, it's important for the government, as it was never before, to sustain the industry, to bring in funds to arrest the flight of capital. And that's where MCA programs like MCA come in. And that's why we score internationally by bringing in best practices that are globally benchmarked. Let's have a best kind of a project in the sphere of e-governance by taking up this MCA 21 project, which is a mission mode project and is the first project to be successful and operationally launched. The first phase has been completed. Now we are towards the next generation MCA 21. The story of uh, the journey of uh, the MCA and as they say, every uh, success also leads to a fresh challenge. Miles were covered, overcoming challenges and achieving efficiencies. But there are yet a few more challenges to be met. MCA 21 has succeeded in providing its skill to compete with others around the world. Discover MCA 21 to its surprise.